Hey what's up guys, it's Sarah here and right now I'm in Abuja for the 5G by MTN. Uh, if you've been following me on Twitter, you've been seeing some of the discussions I've been having about 4G, 4G LTE, 4G plus versus 5G. Is Nigeria ready for 5G? And in a previous video I did, I did a few tests with 4G plus or 4G LTE where I downloaded a two hour film in under one minute and 40 seconds. This same movie can be downloaded with 5G in under 11 seconds so yeah um, that's how fast 5g is in this video i'm going to be testing how fast 5g is and i want you guys to come along with me through the event through all the tests and all i'm going to be showcasing quite a few things i'm here with tayo i know films who is also an amazing travel youtuber and he's also making a video about 5g as well so um i will link that below in the description um yeah without further ado let's get to the video So guys, we went to Abuja, which is the capital city of Nigeria, to test out MTN's 5G. This was a demo of the viability of 5G and how it would fare. First things first, the speed of 5G was crazy fast. From the test in Calabar that were recorded, the speed was approaching 2 gigabits per second. This simply means a 1 gigabyte file would download in 4 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 gigabyte is done. Essentially, 5G is supposed to be 100 times faster than 4G. Hence, there will be low latency. Simply put, um, low latency simply means like the amount of time it takes for you to receive information once you request it will be very, very short. MTN's first test at the demo day was to show how latency works for 5G. So they had a ball that would go through a motion sensing technology and then the goalkeeper would stop the ball from entering um, if it's 4G or 5G. In 4G, it was quite easy to score the goalkeeper, but in 5G, the motion sensors were communicating much faster, the latency was lower and the response time was much faster, so um, it was almost impossible to score. Low latency could help in cases where there is a need for high-speed internet, say a remote surgery for instance, or remote schooling where there is a real-time teacher-student communication via the internet. This would seriously shorten a lot of bridges. I also checked out the smart home section and as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, downloading content will be so fast with 5G and of course streaming will be greatly impacted here. It would probably be impossible to have a loading screen or icon. Virtual reality with 5G is almost real time. You get to be more immersed into gaming or checking out cinema content in virtual reality. Of course, you need 5G capable smartphones to truly harness this and MTN partnered with Huawei for this particular demo. I first spoke with the co-founder of TechPoint and his thoughts were towards the fact that it's an important shift. Secondly, I spoke with the editor of Business Insider Africa who talked about the impact of the faster downloads and you know, a doctor who performed surgery remotely on an animal from another state with the help of 5G. Speaking with the MD of Playhouse, it was inevitable that 5G was the talk of 2019. Um, from the many devices that we had this year that were 5G capable, you know, smartphones especially. And I also spoke with the senior manager of transformation at MTN and she spoke about how 5G would improve the Internet of Things. Um, like, you know, connecting cars, fridges, lights and appliances with much lower latency. Hi, Fisa, you're Mr. Yeah. And it's so great to be on Fisa, you're Oh my God! <laughs> okay, so uh, 5G. Yeah. MTN specifically said that this is going to be a launch. This is a yeah, demo. A demo. Of yeah. 5G. Yeah. So, um, what are your initial thoughts on 5G? Guy, I can't wait for this thing to roll out, yo. Like, when I tested out the speed, mad blowing, guys. Mind blowing. You see what I'm saying? Mind blowing, guys. Like, it's, I, I really can't wait for it. I feel like it's going to offer a lot of things for one. Better mobile experience. I feel that um, the speed is definitely going to be way more faster than usual, and we're going to get a lot of drains when we're watching stuff. So expect a lot of um, data drain because it's going to be incredibly fast. Expect mad speed because what I saw in there, guys, guys, it was really crazy. I can't wait for it to roll out. Truly. In terms of health risks, the spectrum that 5G is on isn't on the extreme side however it's on the um, microwave section of course studies are still being done tests are still being made and you know we'll see how this turns out mtn says they would have demo zones live for three months in abuja calabar and lagos and it will utilize the trial 5g spectrum that was allocated by the ncc mtn owns almost half the market with a subscriber base of 60 million it's almost impossible to not have seen this coming however in terms of readiness for 5g adoption that is still something to discuss, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Is Nigeria really ready for 5G? 